All right, I've been working on ways to get highlighting and annotation into uh, files in Emacs. There's a lot of reasons you'd want to do it. Uh, for example, if you were making a presentation, you might want to highlight some text in a different color, or if you're trying to give somebody feedback on a manuscript, you might want to mark it up and, and give them some uh, ideas of what to do. So recently I, I looked at a way to do that with org mode links, and that's an explicit markup that you put into the file that tells org mode how to uh, render it using font lock. It's nice because it's persistent and exportable and not that difficult to do, but it has some limitations. For example, you can't make a link across paragraphs, and you can't put links in code blocks without breaking them. So an alternative approach is to use overlays. And overlays are independent of font locks, so you can put them anywhere, and they don't change the, the text, and so you can put them in code blocks, or you can put them in other, even other non-org mode files. So I've been uh, working on OV Highlighter as, as the approach to do that, and OV Highlighter provides a Hydra that gives you access to all of these functions for highlighting. So I bind this to um, Hyper H, and that gives me access to all these commands, and the way you use them it would be highlight some text and type hyper HB, and that makes that one blue. Here we get green. The temporary blue is just uh, the color of, of the region. And we can also choose custom colors. Uh, let's say we want uh, to choose lemon chiffon number two, and we'll get uh, these kinds of colors for highlighting in case you want to emphasize some text. Now you may also want to put uh, comments in. So here we do hyper HM and add a note to future self. And now it's orange, so all of these will be orange and it has a tooltip that you can even click on this to edit it and get back to it. Here I type uh, super return to finish and I have that bound to left command. So on the Mac keyboard, this is pretty straightforward. If you have uh, Typos, I usually will highlight these with uh, just a, a typo uh, markup, so it just highlights it as pink and gives it a pink tooltip. So after a while, you, if you have a lar large document, you may want to see all of them. So we have a function that will list all of these, and you can select which one you want and go straight to it. If you want to clear them from here, you just type K, and it gets rid of it, and you see it is down here, and if you want to um, say get rid of this yellow one, you can do it from a, a Hydra menu as well. And then if we list, list this again, you'll see that this has been uh, updated. All right, so that's pretty helpful. This works in code blocks. So I can highlight some code here. And it will put a, uh, a note in here. And most importantly, it doesn't break the code block, it still works. It works in comments, it works all over because these are independent of font lock. So overall, I find this to be pretty handy uh, for work. There are a couple limitations. One is that uh, you can only edit or change the file in Emacs, and we use hook functions to make sure things stay synchronized. So every time you save, that it saves the, the data in the file, and every time you open it, it loads the data in the file. If you don't do that, then the overlay data will get out of date and not be correct. So anything that edits this file outside of Emacs in, uh, with these hook functions will mess up your overlay data. In practice, I haven't found this to be a problem except for git merge uh, conflicts that uh, change the file without being in this, this mode. Another downside is maybe that the highlights don't export from org mode. So they're not org elements, and if you wanted them to export, you would have to pre-process your buffer to find all of the overlays, convert them into, say, a color link or some other kind of uh, format, and then uh, use it. But they do work with HT HTMLI's buffer. So here, for example, you can see that we get an HTML file in a browser that has the, the highlights in here. And so you can make an HTML version of this that you could share with people. All right, so let me show you how it's saved. Uh, we use local variables. There is one variable that saves all the highlight data. This is an escaped uh, Emacs Lisp list that contains information about where the region starts, where the region ends, what color it is, and whether there's a comment. 
So here are the three that, that we've been using. Um, here is an example of the comment. So this is uh, escaped in uh, the org sense, so percent %20 is a space. This gets loaded automatically when you open the file. So the OV highlight uh, command here will load this and replace the um, overlays on top of uh, the text. Every time, uh, it also sets up the save hook function, so every time you save, it will update this. So if I uh, make this green, for example, and now when I type save, you'll see this change. So it just added uh, this particular one. So we've been using this for a while, uh, long enough that I'm uh, ready to, to show you more or less how it works. And hopefully you, you'll find some use for it as well, either in presentation or feedback or highlighting notes to yourself. That's all for today.